Hello everybody. I wanted to make a quick video today just taking a look at City Skyline 2 which dropped today I believe and let's go over the hardware real quick. So we're going to be using an NVIDIA RTX 4090 with a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D with 32 gigs of memory, 6000 megahertz, C30. So top of the line hardware. The version of the game that we're looking at is going to be the Game Pass PC version. So the Windows Store version I believe it's the same one. Now I've heard some disturbing things about this game that it's uh, poorly optimized. I, I watched uh, Worth a Buy's review and uh, it's kind of crazy how bad that game was running. I'm hoping that it's not as bad as I've heard because I did play the first game for a while. Nothing crazy but I was into it for a little while and it's a very good game. A very beloved game. So let's see what it's like. Okay, then now we're in the game on the title menu. So let's throw on our frame rate counter to see what we're. Oh my god, 34 FPS. And my 4090 is being tortured. 99% drawing 440 watts. I only see that type of power consumption off my GPU when I'm playing path tracing flat out. That is insane. And 35, what exactly is happening? Like, this is crazy. Okay, I, I don't know. But let's go through the options and see. This is whatever the game has chosen here. I haven't touched anything, but... So I'm playing on a 3440 by 1440 ultra wide uh, Alienware OLED monitor. And we're on full screen windowed. Depth of field physical. Looks like everything is on high. Well, I'm going to disable depth of field. I'm not a fan of that. And oh, wow. Look at the frame rate. Is it like 130 now? Are you kidding me? Depth of field? was causing that that's like an insane amount of uh, performance cost I guess we'll leave everything on high um, I, I used to play City Skyline when the first one came out many years ago I was into it for a little while but I'm no expert by any means I don't I have pretty much forgotten how to play but that's besides the point this is just a look at performance so let's jump into a new game and we'll see see what happens here okay let's build let's get to work the frame rate is okay i guess i mean crazy demanding for what we're seeing here but the frame time doesn't look great and moving this screen does not feel like i'm getting 80 frames it feels almost like it's 30 like it's very inconsistent it doesn't feel good at all and so as we zoom in we lose a bit of performance i guess these trees are so high quality that it's just crippling my 4090 at uh, 1440p ultra wide but I don't know let's keep going I guess I just don't know why it's so skipping and so stuttery let's look and let's look at the menu again so okay v-sync is on I mean let's try disabling that it shouldn't really have anything to do with it but okay that actually feels better even though the frame time doesn't look really much different it actually feels better it feels feels more fluid I'm gonna try capping the frame rate to 60 because I have noticed that usually when you cap frame rate it can be smoother you never know it's different engines who knows I just capped the frame rate to 60 with Riva Tuna statistics server and yeah way better so now it's it's nice and flat 60 FPS and you know what moving the camera now feels very smooth very consistent if you play the game Disable depth of field right away. Disable V-Sync. This actually feels good. Spinning the camera around is, is nice and smooth. Absolutely. So I'm not going to really play through the tutorial because that'll take hours. But this, I just wanted this to be a quick first look at the game. Um, and just to see if it's as bad as people said it was. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I wouldn't recommend buying it right now. Companies should not be doing this. I mean, I'm sure there's a financial reason why they did it, but I just don't see how this can help them financially because you know there's going to be a lot of uh, diehard fans who are going to buy this game who, who are not aware of uh, the performance issues and they're going to be extremely disappointed. I'm lucky to have a 4090 and uh, pretty much one of the best gaming CPUs and... I'm not getting great. I mean, this is good performance, don't get me wrong, but not not for these visuals. Like, I don't know. I might, I might take a look into this. I might look at the 6800 XT or 3080 Ti. Those are some of the uh, quote-unquote weaker GPUs I have. 
if you guys want me to you can let me know but anyway guys i think i'm gonna wrap it up um, i am disappointed that the game is broken but then again i'm not surprised because i heard that it was going to be i was just hoping that maybe there was some first day patch but then again the ceo of the company said themselves that they knew the game is broken but they had to release it so i don't know why like the doesn't really make sense to me because the game is going to get bashed in the reviews and many hardcore fans of the first who are not aware because not not many people keep up with what's going on on uh, with game reviews and stuff they see the game that they enjoyed playing and they buy it and they're going to be extremely disappointed because as you've seen even the 4090 top of the line hardware right now it has trouble running this game it's 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 a mess it needs quite a bit of work for it to be uh, well optimized and function properly so I would suggest not buying the game obviously do not reward this type of behavior it's you know if they're having trouble with money I don't think this is the way to go it's just uh, all this says to me is that maybe we do buy a lot of broken stuff and then when it gets fixed later down the road we forget all about it because I it just doesn't make sense why they would release a game in this state so anyways save your money if you have game pass you can try it out but i was looking forward to playing this game and even though i have top of the line hardware i'm not gonna play it until it gets fixed because it just doesn't feel great even though you can tweak the settings to make it a little bit better it just doesn't feel very smooth so well if you guys did like the video give it a like and if you have any suggestions or requests leave them in the comments below and thanks for watching have a good one